The East Wing and Wellbeing Show is a fun family day out with lots of opportunities to find out about things you can do to improve your health and wellbeing. So we've got all sorts of activities here today. There's lots of stalls um, and hands-on activities. There's an art project. We've also got lots of workshops and some celebrity presentations as well. I'm here today to give people my top 10 tips to keep their hearts healthy. Your heart is a vital organ, it keeps you alive, so it's really important you look after it as well as you can. So I will be gu guiding people through healthy diet and healthy lifestyle measures that they can do to keep their heart well and to help live longer. This is an opportunity to bring together everybody in the community to show you know, what everybody can do and the opportunities that there really are locally to do things to improve our health. We've been doing the free NHS health checks today. Um, we're aimed at the 40 to 74 year olds without any pre-existing conditions. Um, we've been testing for cholesterol, blood pressure, BMI, um, we ask questions about uh, lifestyle and family history and from those results we're able to calculate their cardiovascular disease risk as a percentage over the next 10 years. I've got some raw chocolate pudding here. I say raw because it's uncooked. It has fresh bananas, it has unroasted chocolate powder, it has a little bit of maple syrup and some water and a hint of vanilla extract and you blend it and it takes less than five minutes. And it's so healthy, you can have it for breakfast, you can make a chocolate pie, or you can just dig in with a spoon and eat it as it is. I went to see one of the talks upstairs on raw food, which was really fascinating. Uh, yeah, lots of interesting information and lovely stands. It's been great. Yeah, such a lot to see and it was nice to bring Joseph and he's exhausted now. Well, I think the most important thing to, is to show young people that issues around well-being can be fun. So they're having a lot of fun here today. There's hula hooping, uh, Zumba dancing, they're making um, food, there's an awful lot of cookery demonstrations. So, you know, it's about showing children that, you know, being healthy isn't about restricting yourself, it isn't about doing things that you don't like, it's about doing things that you do like and having some fun at the same time. I've been on a bike, they're making smoothies and it was really fun and I really enjoyed it. It's good to stay active and yeah, it's been it's been a good day. There's loads of interesting stalls. And if I heat you up to be a liquid, you then start waving your arms a bit more. Okay, you take up a bit more space and you've got more energy inside you because I've heated you up. Okay. My world is the world of tearing food apart and putting it back together and to to find out the stories behind it, the, the science, the, the, the production process, find out what it means, what it does, what it actually does inside your body. So what I'm going to do today is tear everything apart. We're going to do flame throwing with food, we're going to make food rockets. I'm going to show you how much gas a cow produces in a single day using this device here, which is not a fire extinguisher. This is a CO2 dispensing device, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, very good. Okay, now give that a really good squeeze. I thought it was awesome because there was tons of explosions and I liked it when the water changed colour, the beetroot water changed colour and um, I liked eating mealworms. We've been working in schools across the east of England, working with children of all different ages. And what we're trying to do is break the world record for the most amount of postcards exhibited in one space at one time. The children have been drawing wonderful pictures of what healthy, happy and active means to them. So far the world record stands at 4,154 and we plan to beat that today. On the windows we've got 4,032 and we need another 200. <laughs> So we have a world record we need to beat on the postcards. The existing record was held by a gallery in Canada. They succeeded on the 14th of March 2012, where they had 4,154. We've done a tally of what we've got. We've had it verified. And Stephen Gates, that well-known gastronaut from BBC Television, is here to tell us whether we break the record or not. Stephen. So um, it's absolutely extraordinary. The, the record has been completely smashed. 
Um, I'm so, it's so, so brilliant. 4,318. Massive round of applause, well done! Well, I hope that they're going to be inspired from today. I'd l really be wonderful if everyone took just one thing away from today that they can do differently in their own lives to make them feel better, both physically and mentally.